Question. If you ever found yourself in the middle of a hijack, who do you think you would be? Are you going to be a hero or a bystander? I'm not a hero. I will always be a bystander. I don't have time to be a hero. Heroes get killed. Me too. I think I'll be a bystander because I feel like before somebody decides or a group of people decide to hijack yeah. a plane, they've thought this through and they know that somebody is going to try to be the hero. Uh, when I watched the movie, I said uh, it's even easier to hide here, like enter corner. Just there are multiple people. Be yes, be inconspicuous. Anyway, Hijack ninety three is now streaming on Netflix. Yes, and it follows this fictional retelling of the hijacking of a Nigerian airway flight by a group of teenagers on Monday, October 25th, 1993. Just like history, this flight was taken off from Lagos to Abuja when it was hijacked by these four young men. And they held hostage all the passengers on board, including some important people and the son of a Chinese ambassador. And the hijackers threatened to kill everyone on board unless Nigerian authorities agreed to their demand to reinstate their democratically elected candidates. Let me just say I appreciate that Nollywood is trying to make movies based on our history, something that some Nigerians could relate to and just teaching a new generation who are not aware of these things. I even inspire people to just stand up and fight for what they care about. I appreciate that fact, but this is a fictional retelling of events. I don't think I like the story so much. Yes, it's a fictional retelling and when this Hijack 93 was coming out, I never heard about this story before my entire life. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. I was eager to see it because, like you said, it's nice that we're getting this story and seeing it through the lens of its filmmaker, it's nice. But I think that the movie failed at making me really ponder. I was expecting that to make me ponder, it should stir up emotions in me. I wanted to care because some people believe that these men were actually heroes. So. It won't left to us, the viewers, to decide, okay, are these men really heroes or were they bad people? There was just a lot of talking and stating things. When it was time to show emotions, I think the emotions were overly done. It did not evoke anything in you. Just like, okay, why well, calm down and leave my face right now? You are doing too much. I was not hyped for it because Nigerian action films need a whole lot of work. And this film will have a lot of action in it. Yes. I'll explain some kind of action because this is yes. an enclosed space. Yes. I knew those sort of things were supposed to happen and it didn't even happen. So I'm happy that I don't get my hopes very high. Yes. And it's great that the filmmakers had their own creative freedom for this film because making it a fictional telling it's nice. I don't think they utilized it very well mm -hmm. because whose lens are they telling the story from? It could have been maybe one of the passengers that were yeah. on board that day because they started this film of like one of the air hostess and the pilots they are engaged yeah. then we saw that these boys they have somebody that is leading their um, activism they have a yeah. leader but they don't give us much backstories to these boys i would have appreciated if i saw like a planning more not that speech that the man was yeah. giving them while they were lined up i'd have appreciated seeing them plan out or draft out this thing because you cannot just Yes. walk into Walking an airplane with gun or whatever i want to see them plotting for those things because if you are jumping straight into the flights exactly. like that and you have the point of view of a passenger that was there i feel like they don't utilize their creative freedom very well yep i, I totally agree with that yeah, because it made you not be attached to any single person you're just watching yeah. the movie there's a scene where they added them the woman gave birth so conveniently on the plane I don't care about any single character when you say one no even the girl that was even translating, I was not connected to any character. None of their the hijackers. Yes, the, no. their motivation did not touch you in any way. None. I understood the one that had a baby. I cannot remember their names very clearly. That's how much it did not make me care for That's an who these characters equal. Yeah. And I don't think they showed every other person's motive or why they joined. They showed the other uh, Oiwi, the Ao, the one that his father always beats him up. Yes. I don't think his motivation was valid. Then the other boy that he has lost everybody. So when you feel like you've lost everybody, you feel like he doesn't have any other thing to live for except to just fight for a better nation. Yeah, and the so, future. Then the last boy that sat next to the girl, did they show us his <laughs> motivation? I don't remember seeing anything about him. I remember seeing any motivation from him. He liked the girl. But there was no, no room for him to express his emotions to her. You were telling me yesterday that you just feel like they should have just stuck to the history instead of making yes. a fictional retelling. And I yes. think I agree with that because the story was not very compelling. That's yes, because post. in the original, what happened in real life, the age grade is 16 to 18. 
four young boys i would have loved to see how four young boys were able to go through everything because if there's not a lot of material or breakdown of what happened the article i read there's no really much breakdown in it, it's just some things so i just think that they would have eased into the story there's a plot twist in this film anyway what do you think about it irrelevant i could spot it, it from a like a mile away yeah Even from the minute it was mentioned Even before the pie was mentioned i'm like okay because it's boy went to the bathroom and he got a gun mm. it would not just appear there so that's why i said i want to see their planning and their entire process yeah. and when they reveal at the end that oh see i'm like oh like, i do not care it was already over so like oh okay and you really could tell from was, her acting it was like a hail mary just trying to make the audience feel like oh i said it i said it that's what it felt like to me when it got to the end i said oh, okay boohoo i already knew that you are the one that is the person oh, i'm not the only person that predicted it yeah it was predictable in that part the acting mm, mm, mm. i've not seen this the boys who played the four yes. hijackers in any film before I think they did well, but there were moments where some of them were overacting. Oh, there were moments where some of them were overacting, please. There were moments they almost ruined it. Although Adam Gaba is, is a popular actor already. There were moments where people were also underacting, like Captain yeah. uh, or Dion, played by Efa Iwara. Him and John Dumelo. I know, yes, you are the pilot, but they just sat, you just sit down here. Yeah. They were just underacting. They were just dead. Dumelo was not so bad. I think the person that, although he's a veteran, that kind of let me down was. Bob Manuel. Yeah, Bob Manuel. Mm -mm. It was I not believable. Sam Dede has usual a great actor. But Bob Manuel, I don't know what happened this time around. I've not seen him in a while. The person that stood out for me was Carlo. I was so happy to see Carlo. Right. <laughs> Carlo had a few enormous. scenes, but I liked seeing him. Yes. I, I was happy to see him. In this scene, the soldiers raided his, his drinking power and the way he just raised his head, like, okay, what is trouble coming to my doorstep? Yeah. And it was just beautiful well shot and well acted yeah. beautiful please i don't talk about any of the um, air hostesses thank you very much goodbye to you how would you rate it before you say goodbye <laughs> i i'll give you three out of five efforts i look forward to play network production because they seem like a production in Hollywood that just really out there to just change the norm and tell stories yeah from the nigerian lens nigerian. they are really passionate about telling nigerian stories so I always have a soft spot for playing it up, honestly. So yes, three out of five. It was not great. It was not bad either. I give it three out of five because I tell a necessary story. Yeah. You should definitely rate this film down in the comments. Tell us what you think. If you agree with yeah. us, if you do not agree with us, we would love to know. We want to hear every time. And do not forget to like this video, share, and subscribe to We Are Binge Watching. Until next time, take care of yourself. Goodbye. Bye.